What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Sedalia in our new studio. I'm giving it a test run today, and I wanted to talk about different mycology acronyms. So a couple weeks ago, I was on the Myco Geeky podcast in the chats, and there was a couple people that were debating on the term tech, T-E-K. So someone claimed that it meant traditional ecological knowledge. I always thought that tech was short for technique. I'm right there with you, tip of the cap mushrooms. So I started doing some more research and I found a bunch of people on different forums asking questions about these basic acronyms. So I thought I'd do a quick video and go through some of the more common acronyms in mycology in case you're searching Facebook or the Shroomery or different YouTube channels and you're wondering what these little acronyms stand for. One of the most common acronyms that I come across is F-A-E. Some people like to just say FE. That's okay, whatever floats your boat. The F-A-E stands for fresh air exchange. So what is fresh air exchange? In mycology, especially in in vitro fruiting conditions like fruiting tents or monotubs or fruiting within a jar, fresh air exchange is what causes pinning to form or it prevents evaporation um, there's a bunch of videos. I have a video that I produced last year just about fresh air exchange. So if you're interested in learning more, go check that video out. But fresh air exchange is really important in producing high quality mushrooms. So if you're searching Facebook and you see someone with some really leggy looking oysters and the comment just has 100 people F-A-E, you know that they don't have enough fresh air exchange. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So another acronym that comes up really often that can confuse people is the two letter LC. So this stands for liquid culture. So liquid culture is relatively a new phenomenon in mycology. I would say about 10 or 20 years ago, liquid culture was introduced to the shroomery. Now, this is a very efficient way to expand your cultures. Liquid culture can be made from honey water, caro syrup, um, different sugar solutions like dextrose, different pre-mixes like TSB or triptic soy broth. So there are a bunch of different liquid cultures that you can use to expand the mycelium, which is like the roots of the mushroom. So that's what LC stands for. And that kind of leads me into another group of acronyms, a bunch of different agar recipes. So MEA is malt extract agar, PDA, potato dextrose agar, PDYA, potato dextrose yeast agar, there is a, a slew of these acronyms. So if you're ever in a forum and someone's asking about their agar recipe and then they just, you know, blurt out a bunch of these letters, that is just the, the shorthand for different recipes. So agar is a media that's used to grow mycelium just like a liquid culture, but there are tons of different ways you can produce this media and different mushrooms will respond to different types of agar differently. So that's why there's so many different acronyms. If it ends in A, it's most likely associated with agar. So then the next acronym that I see a lot and people kind of get confused is the self healing injection port or SHIP. So self-healing injection port. That kind of goes back to LC. 
And you can also have these on uh, grain bags or all-in-one grow kits. I've seen them more and more often being sold as part of a kit. So self-healing injection port is really simple. It's just a rubber stopper or a rubber patch that you can inject your liquid culture into. And then when you pull it out, you can be very sure that no contaminants will get into the system because it's self-healing. So that just means that as the needle comes out of the port, it will close that up and prevent any contaminants from getting into the system. Really simple, but a very valuable tool, especially when you're working with liquid cultures. So the next acronym on my list is PC or pressure pressure cooking, not politically correct. Okay, so pressure cooking is part of the system. It allows you to sterilize your products so that you're isolating the mycelium. So pressure cookers, there's tons of pressure cookers on the market. I use a Presto, actually I use many different Presto pressure cookers right now. They're fairly cheap. The all-American pressure cookers, um, there's a few off-brand ones, I don't recommend getting the, uh, the Instapots because they don't reach 15 PSI. So that's another time. If you see 15 PSI or 250 F PC, that is the pressure cooking time. So I recommend pressure cooking all the liquids at 250 degrees or 15 PSI for 15 minutes. If you're doing grain spawn or bulk substrate, it's going to take a lot longer because the internal temperature of those substances is gonna take a lot longer to rise than compared to a liquid, like liquid culture or agar. So PC, pressure cooking, very important in mycology. And then the last kind of weird off acronym that I see pop up every now and then is the NS. NS. So that is no soak and no simmer. Now that is a shorthand for when you're making grain spawn. So there are a few different methods to prepare grain spawn. I like to do the no soak, no simmer method, which means that you take the correct volume of water, the correct volume of greens, you put them together in a container and then you pressure cook them or PC them until they're sterilized. So there's alternative methods. You can soak it overnight, drain off the water and then pressure cook it. Or you can put the greens in a giant, uh, not, it doesn't even have to be giant, but into a vat of water. You bring the water up to a boil and then you pour off the water and then that causes the outside of the, the grain to dry because that water evaporates really quickly. It's a really good way to hydrate your grain spawn, but it is pretty labor intensive, which is why I prefer the NSNS. So if you're interested in learning more about no soak, no simmer, I have a, a video I made a couple years ago it's a fungi Friday number six, I believe, and it's preparing grain spawn. So check that video out if you're interested. If anyone else has other acronyms that I missed, comment in the comment section below. Let's see how many acronyms we can come up with with the mycology community. I sometimes create my own off the top of my head. They're probably not on this list, but it's interesting to see all the shorthand and it's kind of like a culture of mycology to be able to understand all this different lingo. It's really fun to dive deep into those forums. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. I'm gonna be doing a lot now that we have this new studio set up. I'm gonna try to dial this in with the audio and the visual, but this is my first video at the new spot in Sedalia. So check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, if you're looking for 
uh, liquid cultures or LCs. And until next time, much love.